Hey, I'm Becky from Patchwork Posse, and today I thought I would show you how to make a super quick drawstring clothes bag for your sewing machine pedals. I don't know about you, but when I go on quilt retreats and I'm hauling my machine around, I've got this cluster of cords that always get in my way. They clog up my bag, they give me problems when I pull everything out, and um, I really don't like it. So today I thought I would show you how to make a quick bag with drawstring top so you can stuff all your cords, your presser foot inside there, put it in the bag that you take to your retreat and everything is contained in one area without giving you issues. We are going to make a bag for our sewing machine pedal. So if you travel with the machine, you might find yourself with a pile of cords and your pedal and it just doesn't stay. And when you open your bag, you've got all these cords. So the first thing we're going to do is mark, make some marks on it. Um, this is going to be my exterior or outside fabric. It is like a designer weight. It's a little bit heavier. But then for my inside or the lining, I chose just to use regular quilting cotton. And um, the first thing we're gonna do is mark our outside piece. So I do have this a long strip and I've folded it in half and gave it a good iron. So this is will stay in place and I've repeated that as well for this piece. So for the outside piece, we're going to measure um, for our casing, the casing for the ribbon or the tie. So I'm going to measure three quarter inch down and make a mark. I'm going to repeat that for the other side. And I'm going to also measure another three quarters from that mark and make a secondary mark. This is going to be the casing for our ribbon or our ties, and so we don't want to sew in between these this area. You can put a pin in here if you want to remind yourself to stop and then begin again, but we're going to sew both sides of this. We're also going to, just in the middle of the lining somewhere, um, we're gonna mark two inches. This is going to give us a place to turn our bag right sides out. If this isn't large enough because your bag is larger, go ahead and make it three inches, but um, just make some marks where you're not going to sew. So I could put a big X here and an X on this spot and an X on this spot, so I know not to sew. So we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and you're going to stitch all the way around um, on the sides, skipping the places in between those marks as well as sewing on both sides of the outer piece, skipping in between those marks. All right, I've got both of these sewn, and now what we can do is um, open up our seams and give just this a, like a finger press. If you have if you have a wooden roller or just a wood presser. Um, then just press this really good with that. You can take it to your iron if you want and iron it, but we just need the area around our opening for um, our ties. The seams need to be nice and flat and opened. So I'm gonna repeat it with this side. All right, once this is done, we are going to just turn this right sides out and we're going to use our finger or a wood turner or a pencil, whatever you have to push these points out. This is gonna be the outside of the bag. And there we go. If you wanna iron this, you can. Um, I'm just gonna push it out with my fingers Got my pencil here. I don't have my turner right next to me. So I'm just gonna quickly push my corners out very carefully so I don't poke out. Now I'm going to give this a good press. I've made sure my seams are nice and pressed on the outside so I 
roll them a little bit until they lay flat. All right, the next step is we are gonna put our bags together. So I'm gonna put my hand inside the outside and I'm going to put my thumb and my fingers in the corners and I'm going to push this all the way to the bottom of the bag and I'm going to start lining up this top edge. So I wanna make sure that my seams line up with the seam of the lining as well as the seam of the outside. Gonna give it a pin to secure it. I'm gonna repeat that with the other side. So just lining up these side seams If you need to, you can place a couple more pins just in the center here to make sure that they don't shift or move when you're sewing it down. So now we've got this all pinned and ready to go. So we're just going to take this to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch all the way along that top edge. All right, now I have that top edge all sewn and I can reach inside my little opening that I have in the lining and I'm going to grab the outside fabric and start pulling it through. Once that's through, I'm gonna start pushing right sides out the lining as well. And now I can open up my bag, so I'm just gonna pinch it and open it up and I am going to shove my hand in here and push down push the lining into the corners of the outside piece and I'm going to just kind of play along with this top edge. Now we want to do a top stitch along this edge so it looks really nice. I'm going to take this over to the iron and I'm going to press this so it lays nice and flat. If you need to roll this edge with your fingers to push that seam out and make sure it looks really good. All right, with my top edge pressed, you are going to sew three more lines. So I'm going to sew a top stitch, just an eighth of an inch from the seam. And then I am going to stitch a quarter inch down from there and then I'm going to measure and sew a one and a quarter inch from there as well. So this, those, the second and that third seam that you're going to be stitching is going to be the area that will keep your ribbon in place. And so here's my opening right here. You can see, so I wanna stitch an eighth of an inch top stitch to finish the top edge nicely. I want another stitch quarter inch and then another one an inch and a quarter. All right, I have got my first stitch right along that top edge. I've got my second stitch a quarter inch down and then I have my third stitch which is an inch and a quarter from the top. So it's not really super perfect but it works. It just You just need that channel to keep your ribbon in place or whatever you are going to be tying your bag. So now we need to cut our strings or um, whatever you're using and finish the bag. For my ribbon, I just searched my bag of selvages. So I don't know about you, but I trim them off when I have other projects and quilts or whatever and I just have been sticking them in a bag and so these come in handy for projects like this so if you've got something a nice little stash go ahead and use your cute selvages otherwise just get rope string or ribbon so I have my selvage ready to go I did trim it to three quarter inch this one's got black selvage which is so fun and um, so I'm just going to Fold the end so it doesn't come through and stick a safety pin to it. Then we are going to come into one side and we're gonna go all the way around the bag and come out the same hole. So I'm just gonna stick my safety pin in and pull it all the way around. When I get to this side, I'm not going to come out the hole. I am going to just continue it. So it might get stuck in, it might get stuck, so we might need to poke our safety pin out of the hole and then stick it back in the hole. All 
All right, now I've reached the other side. I'm gonna pull it through. Now what we're going to do is repeat that for the other side. So I'm going to come in and out on this side. I'm going to tie a knot on this, these two, so they don't pop out while I'm fiddling with it. And now I am going to tie a knot on these, this end. All right, now my bag is finished. I've got it lined. I have the casing for my salvage pieces. And now I can stuff everything inside of it. And now to close, we are just going to pull our sides and they automatically just cinch in and they actually stay. So that is super helpful when you toss this in your bag or under the throat of your machine. It's not going to open up and your parts are not going to sneak out. So you can cinch that up super tight and it's ready for packing.